Hello everyone, this is Josh Mutlak from Stellar Mate. In this video, we'll be talking about filters. So uh, filters in Ecos come in two varieties. You either have the built-in filter wheels that come within a CCD itself, which is like my case with my QSI camera, or you can have uh, your own like dedicated filter, like for Zoo, for example, and uh, other manufacturers of filter wheels. The first time you connect to your filter wheel, um, you will get all the positions, but they will be uh, named generically. For example, here we see position one, two, three, etc. Uh, in some cases, you will see just filter one, two, three, etc. And so the first thing, the first uh, order of business is to change the names to the desired uh, filters. So we go to the ND control panel. And then we go to our CD or filter wheel device. And we are here at the filter wheel tab. And then we will just rename them here. So in my case, it's uh, L, R, G, B, and H alpha. And I set that, and it's already set. And here we can see it's updated. So this is how we set the names of our filter wheels. The second thing we'd like to know is that once you select here in the capture module, if you select the filter here, it doesn't change immediately. The selection here is your desired filter wheel for your next capture. So now I am actually at a luminance filter. So if I put it at R and I take capture, and if we go back to Indie Control Panel, we see here uh, L is the selected one. And let me just take a preview now. So now it changes to red. So the values here are for the target selection, not the current selection. If you want to change it immediately, then you can go ahead and just change it here from the Indie Control Panel itself. For example, let's set it to 3. And so now we are at green. Uh, the final thing uh, we are interested to know about filters is the filter settings manager. So this is all where all the advanced filter settings are set. And so we can set uh, a specific exposure for each filter. Uh, sometimes uh, you have filters like H alpha that takes longer exposure time. So just double click it and just set whatever exposure you like. Uh, for non-parafocal filters, you can set the relative offset in, in ticks. And so uh, let's, let's take, for example, let's say that the R red filter is 100 ticks away from the luminous filter. And so when we capture a few images in luminance and we are at a particular focus offset, once we ch change to red, the, the first thing that will happen is that ECOS will move the focus out by 100 steps, and then it will continue capturing uh, in the red filter. And we also can put it negative, and so let's say negative 50, and so forth. So actually, if we move from R to G to green, it will move out uh, inward by 150 steps because we're already out by 100 and this is negative 50 so uh, it goes 150 steps inward and so forth. So and this column here is to tell ECOS whether we want to start or initiate the autofocus process once we switch to this filter. So for example, let's suppose we are now uh, taking photos in uh, luminance. And if we just check autofocus here, so whenever this filter is changed to luminance, it will always perform an autofocus operation before it starts capturing. Uh, along with the autofocus option here, we have the lock filter. So the lock filter is whenever we want to focus when this is the active capture filter, which lock filter should it set to? And I'll just explain this more in more detail in a minute. So let's take an example here, a practical example. When I 
when I'm taking H alpha images and I want to focus my uh, in, use my in sequence focusing feature, I usually check autofocus here and make the lock filter to luminous because I really cannot focus in H alpha. It's never clear for me. So what happens is that if we start taking photos in H alpha, the luminance filter is going to be locked and used whenever we check the focus for this filter. And let's put this to the test right now. So now we are at green. Let me add a sequence of images, let's say three images, exposure, five seconds, and target filter is H alpha. And if I do that and let's add this here and if we go to the focus modular we'll see that the current filter now is green so now let's start the process we see first a change to H alpha and then auto focus on filter change and then it change to luminance and now the auto focus process is actually using luminance as the locked filter for H alpha so I hope this is the short introduction was sufficient to explain the uh, filter options along with the autofocus options for the filter wheels. Uh, of course, there is documentation online for all these features, and it is something you have to experiment uh, yourself to see which settings best suits your particular uh, setup. Uh, thank you and clear skies.